Hi guys, um, just a quick update on my progress of my uh, T72B um, and unboxing. Um, gonna be doing some a few unboxings, not in this video, but to come um, of kits that I was gonna sell but decided to keep, and the rest of the kits that I haven't done an unboxing basically so you can if you were thinking of getting them um, you can see what's in them so I've basically completed the hull of the T72 now um, pretty complicated build wouldn't um, recommend it to like a beginner to a few tricky bits sorry about the lights but dark in here, but um, you got a little tiny bit of footage on there, and obviously the add-on armour and the side specs, and the other one's the same, um, and then the top of the hole, a bit grainy, sorry, um, it's got all that footage there, you won't get any light a bit more, footage, very highly detailed, and then um, you've got the uh, fuel lines there with more photo etch. Um, quite tricky the rear end because you've got the, the um, towing lines and that. So, yeah. Pretty good so far. Done the tracks, obviously taped on on that, um, but they're not on there properly because obviously got to come off and that for painting. Um, so yeah, that's that. So the first unboxing is of that the uh, Hobby Boss One Day Fifth PLA ZBL09 Snow Leopard. Um, this is the ones I was going to sell on eBay, but doesn't seem to want to sell. I thought it was kind of interesting um, subject, so <coughs> decided to keep it because I didn't want to like give it away. Um, not like highly part. I haven't got a high part count. Uh, about 200, 300 parts. So you got that side that's basically. Box up. Um, you got that, which is one of the schemes. Bit of Chinese. There's a photo etch for it. Um, and then you got that uh, the the digital camo and the sort of parade scheme. And then a bit of bump around it. So that's that. So. <clears throat> onto the box. Um, got your sort of standard um, advertisement of a Soviet T26 1931. Normal stuff. And then you got the kit itself. Um, you got a lamb over. And you got a Huey and a sub thing. Um, there's the first camera scheme. So a three tone Chinese camo scheme. Um, there's a pink call out. And then there's the digital camera. I'd like to do this on this, but you can't seem to get a um, stencil for it, so I don't know how I would do it. One to think about, really. Um, instructions. And normal sort of safety advice. And then you got the Three maps, 
um, sort of instructions. I'm not going to go through it too much. Um, rear back of it, top going on, and then final sort of touches there. So you've got 12 pages and 14 steps, so not overly complicated. So let's look at the parts themselves. You've got the upper part of the hole. Got some nice sort of rivet detail. Um, some nice grills. Various hatches, turret ring, rear hatch, and then in that packet, you've got a sort of turret basket, nicely protected. <coughs> Lower hole, not much to sort of say about it. There's got some, don't know where you can see that. Some nice detail there. Um, we've got a turret ring there. Um, one piece barrel. I'm not quite sure what kind of gun it is. Um, got a mountlet there. Got some nice sort of um, camo detail on it. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed so it might be a bit shaky. Uh, nice hole. Got part of the gun there. Um, got a few different parts here. I'm not sure what they're for. Maybe suspension parts. Tech the parts, which I don't know what they are yet. And then the same on that side. I haven't seen any flash or injector pin marks that are on the wrong side. Well, the size that you would see showing when it's built. Um, you've got some suspension wheels there. The back sides and then front sides. Um, turret got some nice sort of rivet detail on there. Um, see by the size of my phone how big the turret is. Um, various places to put things. I believe it's got two sort of rocket launchers on the side of the turret. So I only tank missiles. Obviously it's an RSP, so mainly for infantry against infantry. Got sort of same suspension detail. Some wheels. Um, a real rear panel there. Got some got nice detail of the grills that are see through. I believe there's some sort of propeller for amphibious thing to go on the back. Yeah, armor. Some hatches. I think there's some plan assembly for a radiator or some such. Um, you got this screw. Which I have no idea what's in it because it's protected. Sorry, I don't want to take it out because, like I said before, I don't know when I'm going to make it. Um, you got two small screws. Just a few small things. I don't know what they're for. Maybe grenade launchers and antenna and stuff. Little parts. Um, 
And you got tires, got some nice prick tread pattern on them. Let's see if I can get one out. Um, I can't with one hand, but it's got some sort of writing on them. Can't quite see what they say, but. Can't see a seam line through, so that's good. There's the tread pattern. Um, got some clear parts. <coughs> and then the foot, got some grills and stuff. Yeah. And finally, the decals. I don't know if you can see them, but it looks just in white numbers. And the Chinese sort of star symbol that you can see there. You can see behind the protective thing. There's a full name. And the kit number. I think that's a kit number. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there's the T seventy two. Um any comments, any questions, just put it below. Uh thanks for watching. Have fun model.